Hi and welcome to GA Checkpoint. Um, my name is Bob and today I'd like to talk about how to store a motorcycle or an ATV correctly. When we leave our motorcycles, ATVs sitting in as little as uh, I'll say one to three months, uh, things happen. Fuel can deteriorate, start to clog up the uh, fuel injectors or the carburetors. Um, batteries over three, four, five months can de do deteriorate just from sitting and if you leave them sit for too long, that can cost you a new battery come springtime if you're doing this over the winter. Let's start by making sure that the old fuel uh, doesn't gum up the fuel injection system or the carburetors. Now, okay. it's very easy. Basically, you add the appropriate amount of fuel conditioner or stabilizer to the gas tank, and then you run the machine for a long enough period of time to make sure that that stabilized fuel is through the uh, injectors or the carburetor and into the engine. Now you're not going to have a problem with uh, old gas coming that up. And this is much more important now than it was 10 or 20 years ago, the reason being that there's ethanol in fuels now. So these new uh, ecologically better fuels do not keep like they used to 10, 20 years ago. And as I say, add the appropriate amount of this to a full tank of fresh fuel run the machine long enough to make sure that that stabilized fuel gets through the whole system. The next thing to keep in mind, especially in our moist climate in the Pacific Northwest, is occasionally you'll get internal engine damage due to internal corrosion. Now what we will do on occasion if we suspect that's going to happen is we will spray a fogging oil down the intake track to the motor during the final minute of the engine running. So after we stabilize fuel, that part's done, spray this down the intake passage of the motor, and this entails taking off a seat and a fuel tank on certain motorcycles. Some ATVs are quite a bit easier, and it will literally uh, coat uh, the engine internals with oil, so you're just not going to get that uh, internal engine corrosion. That can be extremely expensive. Okay, so we've covered fuel stabilization talked about occasionally how we will fog the engine internally, protect uh, from internal uh, corrosion. Um, lastly, your battery. Now, if you want your battery to last five years plus, there's certain things you've got to do. Um, in the old days, we would take the battery out, we would charge it up every 30 days with a conventional charger, uh, checking it with a hydrometer to make sure it was at 100%, and it was, usually we forgot about doing that kind of stuff, and people would not do anything and those are uh, very often the uh, customers who come in sometimes every year buy a new battery maybe every two years if they're lucky the cure is very simple uh, a battery charger like this um, and they start at about 40 bucks go up to about 65 dollars they can be plugged in and left on your uh, maintenance free battery indefinitely you can plug it in and leave it on uh, 24 7 365 days a year it will always keep that battery at 100% and I will get at minimum of five years, sometimes six, seven, eight years out of a battery simply by making sure it never is allowed to discharge over time. So I think we've covered everything. Um, if you are uncomfortable doing any of this, just know that you can contact our service department. They'd be happy to look after that for you. I think for the procedure that we're talking about, it's about $100 or so. Uh, we also offer a uh, storage for, for those of motorcyclists who don't have a proper place to store their bike through the winter. Again, talk to our service department. We can look after you at a rate of about $50 a month uh, for that. Um, that's it for now. Thanks for joining us.